In this video, we're going to very dis quickly discuss the tools for dumping out um, the schema and the catalogs to allow you to examine the values found in there in more detail or to import them into other tools. So the first thing we need to do is actually enable this functionality. It's disabled by default only because the, these tools are not something you use every day and not everyone would use them. So to do that, you just click on the Start button and run regedit. And, oh, let me just shrink that down so we can all see it. And under H key current user, under software, under PPL, so in the standard location, you'll see a, full, uh, a sub key called dump. And if you look at that, you'll see there's a key called schema enforces and normally this would be false but just click it and type in the value true like so and the next time you run ocalc this functionality will be enabled so um, <clears throat> let's take a look at uh, the schema explorer first uh, if i go under tools miscellaneous schema explorer You'll see it cooks for a second, and what it will eventually come up with, um, you can see it's working, is a PDF file, which you can save, which lists every single object type in the entire scheme of the system and what each attribute is. So, for example, in my load case or environment object, I have an attribute called the name. The value is a string. Uh, it is not read-only. It's visible and allows me to change the name. Um, that's a little less than exciting. Let's take a look at a more exciting one. There's an enumerated value called method. It says what calculation method is going to be used. And the options are NESC, GEO95, ASC, CSA, ASNCS7000, or not specified. And where this mostly comes in useful is if you're trying to write a plugin or write a report and you need to know what attribute values are available throughout the system for making those reports. The next tool we're going to talk about is the catalog dump tool. So if we go under tools, miscellaneous, um, dump catalog, it then asks me what catalog do I want to dump. I'm going to dump out my master catalog. It thinks about it for a second and tells you that in my temp folder, it has made a CSV file for every type of object that I actually have in my catalog. So it breaks it out on a per object type basis. So let's go take a look at what that looks like. If I go to my, my, oh, so if you don't know where your temp folder is, you can just type percent, T E M P percent in the, in the bar of your file explorer and it'll take you right to it. So let's go take a look here and I'm going to sort by file type so that all my CSV files end up together. And so here we have. I have my anchors, I have my beams, I have my concrete poles, I have my generic equipment. Let's take a look at one of these. Let's, for example, take a look at um, spans. So that's a pretty straightforward one. So if I want to see in my master catalog a tabular dump of all of the default spans and what their attribute values are as they live in the catalog, I just pull, that, pull this up in whatever program I happen to have that is registered to show me CSV files. And typically that's going to be Excel or some other uh, program like that. And you see what we have. We have in my master catalog folder. Don't worry about the coordinates. Here's all the primaries. As by default, their owner name is undefined. This is what their name would be. All right, so if I look at an, AA, if an, an AAC Akron, let's take a look at some of the values. And so an AAC Akron has a rated strength of uh, 1,110. It has a conductor diameter of 0.198 inches. You gotta remember that internally everything's always stored as inches. Um, uh, has its minimum and maximum temperature values. It has its, uh, its density in, the, in pounds per linear inch. It has the modulus 
of, I assume that's modulus of elasticity. Yep, so it has modulus elasticity. has the percent solid value, so that basically says for any given diameter, what percentage of it is the actual material that has this modulus, and what percentage of it is the material is the air. So how densely are the fibers packed, and so on and so forth. So all the values that are in the master catalog can be dumped out in tabular form and consumed by uh, uh, other tools or just examined or given to customers or whatever. I'm not going to save that. Okay. So the final thing we can look at um, can only happen when, in fact, you have, in fact, a structure loaded up and calculated. So I'm just going to load this simple bare pole. I'm going to run. I'm going to run an analysis on it. And now, if I go under my tools, miscellaneous, and I can say I want to dump my forces detail report, this will tell me for every single object on this system, as as calculated. Um, what are all of the components of load? So not the final load, but the components of load for each thing. And so um, I get things like, for example, what's the amount of bending moment at the ground line as a result of tension? I get a um, you know, basically every single force and every single component load that went into calculating the system, both in its raw form and in its um, loaded form. So if I have load factors above 1.0 or below 1.0, I get its loaded form. So these are all the raw values that went into uh, calculating the forces, and that can be useful sometimes. So let's look at the dump tools. Um, it's pretty low-level stuff, but it does occasionally come up. And so I just wanted to make a video that shows how to A, enable it, and B, how to use it.